Welcome to a nomad's taste. This is Benny now coming to you from my little car <laughs> for the morning sunrise. <laughs> Please don't come after me for the name. I'll take it down. I, just, I don't really care about what it's called. <laughs> okay, this is my monologue. I've done about 67 or something so far, so brace yourself. I'm getting worse or better, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'll just turn off the radio. Uh, <laughs> We've got a competition going. You can win a AI Sympathy t-shirt with the psychedelic arty design. If you just note in the comments the country that I'm broadcasting from. <laughs> As always, I'd like to thank my my producer, Adi. Adi is, is short for artificial intelligence, dude, awesome. <laughs> Could be a chick, don't know. What's the other word? And homogenous, no. Ah, oh, there's another word. Like Mona Lisa was meant to be androgynous. <laughs> it could be androgynous. Asexual. <laughs> Adi. <laughs> anyway. Adi's cool. Uh, if you don't if you want to know more, uh, see my short story that I spoke. I'm telling it a lot better now, like I tell it a lot better in person. Because <laughs> I can move my hands and, and uh, wave them around and do things with my hands. Anyway. <laughs> So I'm a nomad, I, I live far away from where I was born and I have aspirations of uh, living far away from here as well, <laughs> traveling and, but generally I'm looking after my kids, that's, that's my goal right now. So I work hard, I don't play very hard, I do a lot of hobbies, my current, currently this is my hobby and, and I got, and I got, um, trade uh, cryptocurrency <laughs> that's oh, that's what I want to talk about the appearance of things because I want to pick myself up so I gotta I'm gonna get myself out of this rut because the appearance of things looks pretty shit right now <laughs> but that's cool that's cool I've been preparing <laughs> I have something prepared earlier yeah so what I what I've been doing what I've been doing has um, what I've been doing lately with this uh, this hobby, the second hobby, not this one. I, I've been uh, there's there's been a huge boom. In it. Like I've made money, like double my money or something. But over a month, I've only start, I only started getting into this a month ago. Bitcoin just seeing these huge spikes, but every time Bitcoin sees a spike, the cryptocurrency market crashes. Like they're all fucking selling, you know, to get into Bitcoin so that they ride the spike of the Bitcoin, and then they buy back into the cryptos when Bitcoin crashes. So Bitcoin, I think, crashed today, and I was like full of shitcoin. So what I've done is I put all these. Uh, stops on it, you know, like, so if it goes any lower, I'll sell. Because I want to get back into Bitcoin, you know. If they, if they sell. <laughs> because stop orders are cool. <laughs> like, you, you need that like a check, like a check valve. Huh? I had a, like a computer program helping me and then 
this huge market, this huge cryptocurrency market that has banned my IP <laughs> or banned the cloud. <laughs> so I had to run it local and, and it works locally but my internet's so shit. <laughs> That's why I don't live stream because my internet is crap. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> And so I don't trust the, you know, you gotta, the bot's gotta run on the cloud, you know, because otherwise, otherwise disasters, it just, like, leaks money. <laughs> buy shit going, buy shit going, buy shit going. <laughs> it doesn't sell, it doesn't ever sell, it can't make orders. <laughs> anyway, so, the appearance of things is really crap. So I'm like, I've got to study, I don't, I don't have like heaps of t energy and time for it right now. I'm a little bit burnt out, so I'm doing, I'm doing what my friend calls Kali the Destroyer. <laughs> so I'm just selling. <laughs> I just fucking fuck you. <laughs> so I got it all for sale, baby. If it drops, that's what a stop order is. Like, if it reaches a certain value, it sells. If I'm lucky. Sometimes it doesn't sell because it can skip your number, you know. And then you're selling too high and people just buy low and go for the low price. But it usually works because it goes forward, yeah. Anyway. But sometimes it doesn't. Anyway, I was, I was like... Um, such a dampener because I couldn't that was the only reason I could do it I couldn't run it and then and then what I need to do right now <laughs> for my better of my well-being because I love the robot so much is I gotta I gotta pick myself out of this this appearance of shit and I gotta I gotta realize ah yeah this is cool you know like it's all good I'm making money I'm making Bitcoin the robot is fantastic it's a fantastic beam that's really solid as long as it's running. And we make it more and more solid because these these exchanges get shitty at us. I, I think I think it is just I just gotta put a bit more money in, you know, like chuck a few I gotta get on the Amazon, make my own server, <laughs> get my own IP and then go from there because that's why the home computer works it's not because it's not because the ip is um it's because the ip is static and like unknown to this because they, they suffer like huge huge attacks from the chinese and, and whatnot to bring down their uh, their sites uh, and i i'd rather like you may as well just give away your money if you're gonna go into a Chinese market. <laughs> Fuck that. Those bastards be stealing this money. <laughs> bringing it down, bringing down the cryptocurrencies. Fuck that. You gotta keep it in America. <laughs> well, this service, these are servers are in America, man. Fuck yeah. It's all good, see, because Bitcoin's gaining, uh, gaining volume, gaining uh, value, as it should, because it's a, it's a precious, precious commodity. A lot of people think it's like, ah, oh, it's imaginary. No, it's not. It's a, it's a secure form of transacting with your friends, and across the world, it has no borders. Its borders are the ends of the internet. And there's lots of other really cool currencies that you can that are valuable as well, like like cash. And then that's like cash. You're just sending cash across the across the globe instantly, or nearly instantly. The other person just needs the uh, needs to be, have the access to that address. They get it. They cash it in for cash, or they spend it with the they spend it. You know. Like, However they want. If they, if someone accepts it, then someone accepts it. That's how I want to roll. I want to have a business and accept uh, crypto coins, Dash, Monero. I don't know. 
whatever. Of course, Bitcoin. <laughs> Bitcoin is cool. What else? What else is cool? Litecoin seems pretty cool. It crashed in the ass a few years ago, but so what? It's about to be released into, um, what do they call it? Sagewit. That's like, I think it's bullshit. I like, I like uh, my coins to be decentralized. <laughs> Decentralization of coins, fuck you. Lightning fucking thing, fuck you. Like my friend said, they just have to change one line in the code. Block size may not be greater than one megabyte. Yeah. Take that. <laughs> Take that lightning fucking bullshit. Most of the people hyping about coins are usually marketers. <laughs> No, there's some cool coins, man. Like, latest technology. Awesome. Gracias. Yeah, it's a tax for the day. <laughs> so I have a very solid dream of, of becoming a, a cryptocurrency trader. That's my that's my new goal in life. I want to quit my career <laughs> and become a cryptocurrency trader and miner. Fuck yeah. Get in early, babies. It's not that early, but it's early. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Fuck you. Crashes. That's a, this is the thing. Like when it crashes, you gotta be like, you gotta summon Kali the Destroyer. Is it Kari? Kali? Kali? Kala? Kali? I think it's Kali, the Hindu Destroyer. I've done that now. I'm like, I'm putting it all behind me. Then it flowers to to win my attention again. sitting on that coin that goes like two times, three times, you know, like, that's all I need. Then I can pay off uh, the cash I use to uh, to invest in this thing and then I'm like half, half, you know, half, half, half cash, half, half Bitcoin. That's, a, that's my goal. And then that, do that forever. So half of my wealth is in Bitcoin. So I've got a long ways to go because i got a house. So I gotta make half of my coin. I gotta get the majority of that into Bitcoin, you know, like so I got like a house in Bitcoin and a house in in reality. And ride the boat, ride the averages because because this is quite literally the future. And Bitcoin is the base currency because it's the gold, it's the first coin. So so to even transact it costs a lot of money. <laughs> like it's getting up to like a dollar a transaction so it's getting like really good like really rare and then and then like you hold that that's your gold and then you're in the market uh, trading these other shit coins that are like point 
one of a Bitcoin sort of thing. None, none of them are 0.1 yet. Some of them are like 0.06, something like that. 5%, 6% of a Bitcoin. Litecoin, 0.02. But the Dash, the really cool coins, like Dash. I don't know about Zcash, that could be just hype, maybe. Uh, it doesn't mean I don't have any. <laughs> get, them while they're, get them while they're cheap. <laughs> you don't need a whole one anyway, you just buy like bits of them. been known to go 10 times 20 times in value it's a it's a little casino but you don't really lose that much unless you start margin trading but that's just playing with other people's money and whenever you do that you lose I reckon I reckon you'd be losing if you're margin trading because you're playing the margin you know like So you're at 30% of the value, but you're playing with 100%. But as soon as you lose that 30%, fire sale, you're, you're, you've lost. <laughs> Bitcoin, I've like gone long on Bitcoin, so I was like, I don't know. I guess that's cool. <laughs> Probably selling some today because I'm double. on the flip side and remember plenty of love in my heart of hearts and that you you can at any time go to your heart of hearts and, and feel that love too I'm committed to that idea <laughs> take care <laughs> ciao